give Jesus a loud shout. Let's get seated. Praise God. Fortune is my portion in 2024. Congratulations. When it's a prophetic service, so anything can happen, prophecies will go forth. You have understood it already. Believe it. It comes to pass. No one will believe it for you. God will declare it. You believe it for yourself. It comes to pass in your life. Shout amen. amen. Well, let's dive quickly into the word. So many things to be said this morning. Who is on the Lord's side? Good. Part 3A. Thank God you are there. Praise God. The scripture I take it from Ezekiel, uh, Exodus 32, 26. Exodus 32, 26. Let's read together. And Moses stood in the gate of the camp and said, Who is on the Lord's side? Let him come unto me. And all the sons of Levi gathered themselves together unto him. It is in God's desire that everybody comes to him sincerely. But God can, we can only get on God's side by our choice, not by force. We can only get on God's side by our choice, not by a force. Sincerely, truly, God wants everyone on his side. But he cannot force you to come to his side. Revelation 3 verse 20. God wants you. He wants me. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come to him and I will sup with him and he with me. I will. So God wants to gather us, but he cannot force us. In, Genesis, in Matthew 23, 37 to 39, he won't force us. This is God's dream. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killed the prophet and stoned them would send unto thee. How often would I have gathered thy children together? Even as a hen gathered her cheeks under her wings and you would not. Well, there's a consequence. Behold, your house is left unto you. That's only come and say, God forbid. For I say unto you, you shall not see me henceforth till you say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. You have to come by yourself. He wants to gather, but no. You cannot gather you without your, cons your consciousness, without your consent. Now, there are devastating consequences of not being on God's side. Sincerely, there are devastating consequences. We'll look at them from a few scriptures very quickly. Let scripture just speak this morning. Jeremiah 6, 16 to 19. Jeremiah chapter 6, remember it's a choice. It's not by force. Thus said the Lord, stand in the ways and see. And ask for the old path. Where is the good way? Walk therein. You shall find rest for your souls. Full stop. One, two, read. Read it as if you are reading with me. We will not walk. Okay, verse 17. Also, I sent watchmen over you saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet. What happened next? Okay, therefore, hear ye nations and know, O congregation, what is among you. Verse 19 now. He said, hear, O earth, behold, I will bring evil upon these people. Someone say, God forbid. Even the fruit of their thoughts because they have not hearkened to my words nor to my law but rejected it. You will not be among those rejecting God. So the moment you refuse to come on God's side, you have truly rejected God. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 1 to 5. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 1 to 5. Woe to the rebellious children, say the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin, that walk to go down into Egypt, and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Verse 3. Therefore, shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. Come on, say God forbid. And the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. Verse 4. For his prince were Zoan and his ambassador came to hands. Verse 5 now. They were all ashamed of a people that could not profit them nor be helped nor profit but a shame and a reproach nothing good comes out of the other side nothing good comes out of the other side nothing sincerely nothing 
Isaiah 31 verse 1 to 3. So, if you don't choose God's side, this is what happens at the other side. Woe. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel. Neither seek the Lord. Verse 2. Yet he is also, he is also his wise and he will bring evil and not call back his word. But will arise against the house of evildoers. Against the help of them that walk iniquity. Verse 3 now. Now the Egyptians are men, not God. And their horses flesh, not spirit. When the Lord shall stretch out his hand, both he that helpeth shall fall. And he that open shall fall down, and they all shall fail all together. I am praying that no one fails in this assembly. So everything fails when you are the other side. Everything, everything. It might seem as if it's standing now, just like evil. Evil may seem to be standing more than good, but it's just a matter of time. It's a matter of time. Everything might be green on the other side. It's a matter of time. You know, when you spray chemical on grass it remains green when you cut down a tree even the trunk is on the floor the leaves are still green it's just a matter of time i am praying that you not be at the cut off side of life that amen is not your own amen. isaiah 42 22 25 nothing counts in life nothing will ever count at the other side of life this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes. They are hid in prison houses. They are for a prey and none deliver it. For a spoil and none set restore. What happens to them? Who among you will give ear to? Who will hearken and hear for the time to come? Who gave Jacob for a spoil? Israel to the robbers. Did not the Lord who against whom he has sinned? For they will not walk in his ways, neither will they, will they obedient to his laws. What happened in verse 25? Therefore, he had poured upon him the fury of his anger, the strength of battle, and it had set him on fire round about, and he knew it not. And he burned him, yet he laid it to heart. I am praying for somebody here. May you discover where you are and return back to where you should be. That amen is not consistent with today. So nothing counts. Life becomes meaningless. Troubles everywhere. Lack. Lack of profit. Causes instead of blessings. On every side. When you are on the other side. But today, God will bring you to his own side. Brothers and sisters, let me say this. God's side is the blessed side of life. God's side is the blessed side of life. Blessed side of life. Why? You can't curse whom God has cursed. You can't curse who God has blessed. You can't defy who God has not defied. No. Numbers 23, 8 and verse 20. Numbers 23, verse 8. Only God blesses sincerely. How shall I curse whom God has not cursed? Or how shall I defy whom God has not defied? Verse 20. I have received a commandment to bless. And I bless. And I cannot reverse it. God's side is the blessed side. Now, Everywhere you see the Lord, sincerely you will see blessing. Anytime you desire blessing, change direction to God's side. God's side is filled with blessings and blessedness. Why? Only God can truly bless. What we do when we say you are blessed is pronouncement of words. Only God can actually bring that element called the blessing, the ingredient. What we swallow in medicine is not actually the medication. It is this, what they call active ingredients. So you can take something white and swallow it. You may think you are taking something. No, there's nothing inside. So only God carries the active ingredient that blesses people. Let's look at this scenario and this picture. Number 6, 22 down to 27. Let's look at it clearly. All we can say is vocabulary. Be blessed. Only God can put in that active ingredient, which is called the blessing. He's the only one who has it. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, One to go, speak unto the children of unto the Aaron and his son, saying, On this wise are you blessed, you know, we are saying. So all we do is saying, Go now quickly to 27, saying, The Lord bless you and keep you. I thought you'd be saying, Amen. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee. And give you peace. 
Watch. Watch what, what I've just done now. And thou shalt put my name upon the children of Israel. One, two, go. What was I saying before? The Lord bless you. <laughs> what is I will bless them again? So all we are doing is signing upon you. Just putting a seal upon you. Just putting a mark upon you. So that when the one who is going to seal will come, he will now, okay, this one is marked. You are blessed. You are blessed. From today, the blessing will reflect in your life. So it is not saying that you are blessed. means you are blessed sincerely. Sincerely. Saying, 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 saying. What we are doing is putting name, putting name, putting name, calling register. Enlisting people, enrolling people. And then when the real person comes, which is God, he will bless. I will bless them. I am praying that God will change someone's stories. So you literally trace blessings and blessedness on the part of anyone on God's side. You literally can trace blessings sincerely and blessedness on the part of everyone or anyone on God's side. So we can pick out and say, this person, the way the thing is working for him, this person is blessed. Genesis 12, 1 to 3. How can we track Abraham? What is the identity of Abraham? Now the Lord has said to Abraham, get out of your father's house. Separate yourself from your people. And I will bless you. Go to somewhere, I will send you verse 2. And there I will bless you. And then verse 3, I will bless them. That bless, and I will make you a blessing. On you shall all family of the earth be blessed. So Abraham became a symbol of blessing. Blessing. Galatians 3, 13 and 14. Abraham became a carrier of blessing. He was named with God. He was named with God. Abraham, do you know Abraham's name? Abraham of the most high God. Genesis chapter 14, verses 18 to 20. Blessed, blessed Abraham. And Mechizedek, the king of Salem, brought for bread and wine. And he was the priest of the Most High God. Look at what he said. And he blessed him and said, One, two, read. Blessed be Abraham of. Was that where Abraham was coming? Where is his country? Abraham's country was all. Very far some. He has left them. Now his address is now God. Of the Most High God. One, two, go. Possessor of heaven and the earth. And bless me, the most high God. Oh, yeah. What? Giving your enemy to your hand. From today, we will trace blessing to your life. That day man looks as if you are suspecting somebody around you. Genesis 1, of course, 26 to 28. The very first word God gave man was blessed. He made man, he blessed man. Listen to me, there is no naming without blessing. God can name without, anytime God names, his aim is blessing. Anytime God names, his aim is blessing. Anytime God names, his aim is blessing. Genesis chapter 5, verse 1 and 2. Anytime God names, his aim is blessing. This is the book of the generation of Adam. In the day that God created man, in the likeness of God, made he him. Verse 2 together, 1, 2, go. Male and female created them and, 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 he blessed them. Anytime God names, the aim is blessing. He, call, he blessed them and called their name Adam. <laughs> Anytime God names, the aim is blessing. I am praying that the name of God upon your life will aim blessings. That amen looks like 2020 kind of COVID-19. Genesis 24 verse 1. Truly speaking, you cannot mistake it. say, can we know you? I'm the blessed. <laughs> That's it. Genesis 24. That, that is the end of your lifestyle as my identity. Can I meet you? I'm the blessed. That, that's your first identity. Hello? You don't understand what I'm saying. Genesis 24 verse 1. Abraham was old and was in the age. I want to go. Read it as if you are a part of this fast. I know you are fasting. Read it loud. It will not break your fast. Read it loud. Some people can conserve energy even in church. We know you are fasting. You will break by 12. I know. I know. Verse 35. <laughs> Some of you after Sunday service say, okay, we have done what again? After this heavy preaching. <laughs> what again am I waiting for? If you are in that category, wave your hand and shout amen. <laughs> we know you. 
<laughs> After first service, say, thank you, Jesus. What, are, what again are, actually are we waiting for? It's not the word of God and prayer. We pray prayer one and we read it. With this heavy download. Abba, Abba. My wife, please, please, Shawama first. <laughs> ah. Everybody, look at the identity that his servant said about his master. Genesis 24, verse 1. Do you remember verse 1? is God's testimony. Verse 35, 1, 2, go. And the Lord has blessed my master greatly. 1, 2, go. And he's become great. And he had given him flocks and heads and silver and gold and men servant and maid servant and camel. Come on, shout and be blessed. So it's not just you know, say, I am I am on the Lord's side. I will, no, no, no. You want, can we trace the mark of being on God's side on your life? Can we trace it? It's not about ah, do you know I'm on God's side? Yes, no, it's not anybody can say it. But can we trace the blessing? Stretch your hand from today. It will be a very obvious that you are on the Lord's side. I say from this very moment, it will be very obvious that you are on God's side. Because the blessing will rest in your house. The blessing will rest in your life. In Jesus' precious name. These are the mark you should aim to have. Blessed. Blessed of the Lord. Look at the way Psalm 1. What is the longest chapter in the Bible? The longest book in the Bible? Psalm. From Psalm 1 to 150. But look at the very first word. The very first beginning of Psalm. Psalm 1 verse 1. Look at the very first beginning of the longest book. So if you want to live life long, live by the blessing. If you want to exist and be impactful and be long lasting, start your journey with what? Blessing. Look at it. Blessed is the man. He is on God's side. That's why you are seeing the blessing named after him. I am praying that today will be some people's deciding moments. You will truly decide whose side you are. And it will be obvious to all that are with you. That amen is not correct. So it is the blessing of the Lord that makes the difference in life. The blessing. The blessing. The blessing. Because when you see all of us, we are all looking the same, sincerely. The blessing of the Lord makes the difference. Proverbs 10, 22. It is the blessing of the Lord that make it. Make it. Make it. Make it. Genesis 26, verse 2, 12. The blessing. Everybody can be doing the same thing. It is the blessing that marks the difference. And as he sowed in that land, everybody is sowing. Every day, every morning. Whether by hook or by crook, by design or by direction. Everybody is sowing. And received in the same year a hundredfold. But that's not the end of the story. The story is that what? The Lord blessed him. So that should be the aim of all your seed. The Lord blessed him. Genesis 17, 15, 16, 20. Genesis 17. You will always see the track record. And God said unto Abraham, As for Sarai thy wife, thou, hast, thou shalt not call her name Sarai, but Sarah shall her name be. What happened? Verse 16 and verse 20. And I will bless her. What? And give her a son. Yeah, I will bless her. And she shall be a mother. You are not a mother of children. Bless her. Mother of nation. Look at the next one. Look at what blessing does. Kings of people shall be of her. So, so it's not that your wife means you are blessed. No. You can have wife and have only two children. And you are struggling with two of them. Struggling and all of them still turn out very bad. But yet somebody has only one but nations are submitting to her. No, it's not about claiming am I not fine. It's not fine we're talking about. Don't marry a fine babe. Marry a blessed babe. Don't look for a fine guy. Look for somebody blessed. That will lead you to your destiny. Oh, this uh, Mary, Mary Kay and all that bone straight and coily hair and SDD on all manner. It's not necessary. Not necessary. Not necessary. Shop for blessing. Tap your neighbor and say shop for the blessing. Tap your neighbor and say, shop for the blessing. Some of us are shopping for the wrong thing. You are shopping for shape. Shopping for looks. Tap on your neighbor and say, shop for the blessing. How many times have wedding been set and people are like, one of the things they are aiming, Lord, blessed. It is blessing we are aiming. But you see them buying wedding gown. Buying shoe. Buying high heel. Buying... <laughs> 
bango. Buy something you wear for one hour and it will expire. Just buying what will expire quickly. But the thing that will carry to, the, to your destiny, you didn't buy. You didn't buy. <laughs> Don't worry. Genesis 17. Don't worry. We are, we are going far. We are, the journey is still far. As for Ishmael, look at it. Even the ungodly, as for Ishmael, because it's connected to the blessed, I have had thee. Behold, one to go. I have blessed him. And I will make him fruitful. And I will multiply him exceedingly. Twelve princes shall be given God. And I will make him a great nation. You see where our problem came from? Good. <laughs> so we are actually fighting the blessed. And because you are not standing where, that's where they are defeating us day by day. Because they are clearly on their side. You are not on any side. That's the problem. That's where the problem starts from. Believers are neither here or there. Brothers and sisters, you cannot be on two sides at the same time. Matthew 6, 24. You cannot be on two sides. Do you know there are many believers who are on the devil's side and on the angel's side? Do you, are you aware? And they are singing praise the Lord. Now man can serve two masters. You will either hate one and love the other or else you will hold the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and many people like to come to church is a problem. Your counterpart in order to pray five times a day without rema. Continuously. Conti that is auto. It's on auto. But you now, the same time you pray, say, covenant of prayer. I don't, I don't do that kind of thing. Well, see, I'm but they don't used to choose what they are doing. They told them what to do and they are doing it. You, they tell you what to do, you won't do it. Five times a day, continuously. Whether at home or away, anywhere. Even if you are not attending covenant or prayer here, can't you connect online? It's your heart. Your heart is not inside. Your heart is not there. It's not there. So that we can be on the same page. That's what it means. So I'm talking like this now. Some other people are thinking because they have not been brought up to the level where we are. So what are they saying? Somebody say the fast thing, there's no Wednesday, there's no Saturday and Sunday side the fast. I say, are you a member of this church? There's no Saturday and Sunday. They used to skip. <laughs> ah, now, wow. Hi. And I'm wondering, I say, are you a, a special in the new dispensation or a mutated special? And, and it's an argument, oh, it's not it's an argument. They're arguing it. No, let's call pastor and confirm. <laughs> Wow. Okay. That means they can't even call you to confirm because you might confuse them. <laughs> ah, now, wow. Ah, all the people that used to eat food, you just check their status, you'll be seeing food. I say, now, wow. This first thing, they are sharing food like this. May God help us. Lord, into your hand we commit our stomach. Come on, say I'm on the blessed side. So, however, to be blessed on God's side requires repositioning. Repositioning. You have to reposition. You have to reposition. There are certain characteristics. There are certain charisma. There are certain things you must carry. There are certain directions you must face. There are certain things that will be traced in your life to show that you are the blessed. Who will God bless? Genesis 27, 27. Who will God bless? He said, he called him and kissed him and said, he came near and kissed him and smelled him and said, of the, and, remember, and blessed him and said, see, the smell of my son is like the smell of the field that the Lord has blessed. What are the mark? What are the things? What are the elements that brings you to this blessed side? Who will God bless? Number one, the righteous. Who will God bless? Who are those people that can be blessed by God? Number one, the righteous. Psalm 5 verse 12. The Lord will bless one to go, the righteous. <laughs> the Lord we bless the righteous. What blessing? We favor. 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 So it takes righteousness to qualify for the blessing. It is uprightness that makes things go right in the blessing. Psalm 37 verse 18 and 19. Psalm 37 verse 18 and 19. The Lord knoweth the days of the upright and their inheritance shall be forever. What? They shall not be ashamed in evil times. In the day of famine, they shall be 
satisfied. The Lord knows the days of the upright. Upright. Righteousness is the foundation for blessedness. Blessedness has its root in uprightness. Psalm 33, verse 18 and verse 19. Psalm 18. He said, Behold, the, Lord, the eyes of the Lord is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy, to keep, to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in family. Come on, say, I shall be alive and I shall be alive for long. Things always go well with the righteous. You know why? You know our winner's language? Now, this language I've even missed from our midst because I think we have lost the foundation. When we first joined winners in those days in the north, one thing you know winners is it is well. It is well. It is well. It is well. When you hear it is well, you know it's winners. Uh, that language, I think, uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't exist in this side. side. It doesn't exist. I've not had it for a long time. Choir, when last did you say it? it last, last year. Yesterday. How many of you said it yesterday? Uh -huh. How many of you said it last two years? It is well. I didn't have anybody to tell me what he meant. I found it in the scriptures. Psalm Isaiah chapter 3 verse 10. Say to the righteous, it shall be well. <laughs> so if you are not righteous and we are telling it is well, it will not work. Oh. Say to the righteous, it shall be well with you. For he shall eat the fruit of his doing. Verse 11 together. Hey, verse 11, one, two, go. Woe to the wicked. It shall be ill with him. For the reward of his hand shall be given him. Say amen. amen. Say to the righteous. Say to the wicked. So, even if he didn't say to the wicked, it's already war with the wicked. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, wickedness. <laughs> crookedness is at the root of wickedness. And wretchedness. Crookedness. 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 Isaiah 59 and verse 8. He said, the way of peace they know not. They have made them crooked paths. There is no judgment in their going. They have made them crooked paths. Listen. Whoso goeth therein shall not know peace. Crooked things in our day and age. Everybody just trying to outsmart one another. It shall be well with the righteous. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 12 and 13. Ecclesiastes Chapter 8, verses 12 and 13. Though a sinner do evil a hundred times, listen to this, and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know it shall be well with them that fear God, which fear before him. Verse 12, 13 together. But it shall not be well with the wicked. Neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feared not before God. Brothers and sisters, may the lack of the fear of God not make you to fall. So righteousness equals blessedness. Sinfulness equals causes in life. I know it shall not be well. I know. I know. I know. We are talking about practical. Yes, we have a position in righteousness. Second Corinthians 5 verse 21. Every child of God is righteous by default. But we have to consciously practice it. For he that had made him to be seen for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. So, everybody sitting in church, let that have been made righteous. There's, the moment you answer the altar call, you read, hand over your life to you, you are made. But you have to practice righteousness. Just like a lawyer has gone to school, graduated MBBS, LLB, and all of that, and all of those degrees, and MBA, and all of that, and decide to keep it in a drawer and become a foil attendant. They can't practice law in that first station. No, no. You go to the right place. So, there's practical righteousness. First John 3, 7. He that doeth righteousness is righteous. <laughs> Little children, let no man deceive you. One, two, go. He that doeth righteousness. So there is the one they do. There is the one that is done. There is a righteousness that has a deed. He that doeth. He that doeth. He that doeth. What is the price of righteousness? It is what makes everything you do to produce, including your seed. 
many are giving in unrighteousness. It will not produce. Malachi chapter 3, verse 1 to 4. It will not work. If you like, give Shiloh's advice or 10 zillion. It will not work. Behold, I will send my messenger and he will prepare the way before me. And the Lord whom you seek, he will suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant, whom you delight in. Behold, he shall come, said the Lord of hosts. Verse 2 right now. But who may abide the day of his coming? Who shall stand when he appeared? For he is a refiner's fire and a fuller's soap. Verse 3 now. And he shall sit as a refiner and purifier of silver. And he shall purify the sons of Levi. And purge them as gold and silver. That they may offer unto the Lord. One to go. An offering in righteousness. What happens in verse 4? Then shall the offering of Judah. Jerusalem be pleasant unto the Lord. As in the day of old, as in former years. That's why I see people are offering and still suffering. Why? Unrighteousness. Offering, yet suffering. Deuteronomy 33, 19 and 20. They shall offer, offer, offer. Then shall they call the people unto the mountain. There they shall what? Offer sacrifices of righteousness. For they shall now suck of the abundance of the sea and of the treasure hid in the sand. Look at the first name he called, verse 8. And of God, he said, Blessed be he, thy larger God. Blessed. Blessed. The end of righteousness is blessedness. Second Corinthians chapter 9, verse 10. Our seed can only produce on the soil of righteousness. Our seed can only produce on the soil of righteousness. Now he that minister to the sower, both minister bread for her food and multiply your seed sown and increase the fruit of your righteousness. I am praying again that God will grant us grace not to risk our results. In the name of Jesus Christ. So it's not just your offering that counts. It's your righteous offering that counts before God. I am praying that God will help us. Number two, who will God bless? You'll be dead. We have had it countless number of times that God's blessing trails man's obedience. Deuteronomy 28 verse 1 and 2. The obedient. If you would diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord your God and to do all he command you, the Lord your God will set you on high. Above all nations of the earth. Verse 2 together. These blessings shall come upon you and overtake you. Obedience. Psalm 30, Job 36, 11. If they obey and serve, obey, 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 obey. If they obey and serve, obedience. God blesses the obedience. Obedience, and listen, abundance flows in the direction of obedience. Abundance flows in the direction of obedience. Luke 5, 1 to 8. Of course, when you read verse 6 and verse 7, you understand what I'm talking about. When they had this Done, they enclosed a mother of fishes and their net began to break. When they had this done, whatever he tells you to do, what do you do? Do it. Obedience. John 2, verse 5. Obedience. 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 How was Abraham blessed? How did Abraham enter the level of blessing? Genesis 22, 16 to 18. Because you have done this. By myself, I was one because you have done this. And as long as we told your son. The only song. In blessing, I will bless you. Multiplying, I will multiply you. Why? Because you have obeyed my voice. Verse 18. I am praying here that your ear will be open to his voice. I say your ear will be open to his voice. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you be willing and obedient. So, obedience is the key that unlocks blessings. Isaiah chapter 1, 18 and 19. Obedience is the key that unlocks blessing. May your blessing be unlocked. Many of the time, we miss out on these keys because no key looks like a door. Every door is different from a key. Have you ever seen the key the size of a door? But it is that key that opens the door. Have you ever seen any car as big as the key or any key as big as the car? No. These are the keys that opens these things. I am praying that God will change our stories. Number three, those who love God in truth and in deed. Those who love God in truth and indeed, love remains the veritable platform for all and blessings. Romans 8.28, all things works for lovers. 
All things works for lovers. All things works for lovers. It's a proven and provable love, not a singing love that God is looking for. God looking for love that has to do with what he wants. Loving what God loves. Hating what God hates. That's love. And what does he do? First Corinthians 2 verse 9. Say, eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. Neither has entered the heart of man. The thing God has reserved for those who love him. Who love him. Who love him. So there's a reserve of blessing for lovers. Psalm 91 verse 14. Psalm 91 and verse 14. Because he has set his love upon me, I will deliver him. That's it. I will keep set him on high. That's it. Because he has known my name. The love of God. The love of God. What is love of God? You know it already. He's keeping his commandment. John 14, 21 and 20. Those who love God in truth and in deed. He that had my commandment sincerely and keep it them. Is he that loveth me? He that loveth me, the Father will love him. Number four, those who serve the Lord in sincerity and truth. Those who serve God in sincerity and truth. Somebody sent a testimony a while ago, just I think yesterday, and said, I've been talking about serving God from a pure heart. Serving God from a pure heart. Just serve God. Don't just serve God anyhow. Let your heart be pure. Let your heart be in what you are doing. That's how to serve. If not, you'll just be there and be wasting away. Those who serve God in sincerity and truth. Joshua 24, verse 14. Verse 14. Your choice is important, but your choice in the right direction. Now, therefore, fear the Lord and serve him what? Serve him how? Serve him how? How do you serve your God? And, and, put away the God your father served on the other side of the flood in Egypt. And serve ye the Lord. Serve the Lord. Make up your mind. Yes, you have chosen to come to church early, but are you sincere? Are you doing it in truth? Or let them not say, say, I'm coming late. You know, there are certain things we do and then we, we just do it for men. We don't do it for God. We do it for men. Let them not say, oh, ah, as for me and my we are serving God. You know we are serving God. Now we are praying every morning. We pray every 12 midnight. Yes, we know. But what's the heart for doing it? Number five. Are you number five? So we're talking about correct service, current service, all of that. Seeking God first, it will help us. Number four now. Number five. Hmm? The faithful. God will bless the faithful. We're already out of time. We'll push the others for under service if we have the time. For the faithful. God will bless the faithful. Proverbs 28, 20. The faithful man shall abound with blessing. A faithful man shall abound be blessed. But he that makes haste to be rich will not be innocent. This faithfulness actually is talking about managing resources and managing what belongs to others well as though it's your own. Faithfulness is the surest guarantee for abounding blessings. Before now, when you believe, it, when you see a Christian, a Christian is known to be a faithful person. If he tells you this thing is white, correctly is white, you don't need to go and verify but in our day and age, Christianity has been so maligned that faithfulness has lost its grip. Faithfulness. Anywhere you find any believer before now, giving 20,000, it will remain 20,000. But in our day and age, it will be the robber that will rob the rob. The rob. As I was coming over, they didn't lose. How? How? Now you lost out. Of faithfulness everywhere. That's why you see people can't serve their boss and learn work pro properly. Before now, we used to go for, for house, what do they call that thing? For boy, 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 boy. Now, boy, boy does not really exist again. The moment you learn one or two tricks, you just disappear. I'm going to start your own. How about who then be? I said, I'm passing. I can do better. Faithfulness. Faithfulness. People can no longer handle small things or they become big. They begin to complain. Why? Unfaithfulness. You hand over something to somebody, he can't manage it, he can't grow it. Unfaithfulness. Of faithfulness because his heart is not fit because it's not faithful. What makes your heart fit to handle anything? It's faithfulness. Faithfulness is the virtue of the heart. Nehemiah 9, verse 8. That is what makes our heart fit. Fit. So our hands are not fit because our hearts are not faithful. So the fitness of your hand is determined by the faithfulness of your heart. The fitness of your hand is defined by the faithfulness of your heart. Many hearts are not faithful. Your hand may be faithful. Yes, man say, oh, that my boy is doing well. What about his heart? Do you know his heart? He will soon do you and run. Nehemiah 9 verse 8. Read the first line. And founded his heart faithful before thee. And then made a covenant with him. 
to give him this, give him that, give him that, give him this, give his seed to his seed to perform the word because you are righteous. Faithfulness. Faithfulness is missing, is lacking in too many quarters. Too many quarters. In too many practices, too many things. Faithfulness is about doing right things and doing it right. It's about what? Doing right things and doing it right. Getting money is a right thing, but it's a right way to get the money. Good. Getting money is good. We are hustling with the hustle. Hustle is very good, but how are you hustling? Scamming people. <laughs> yes. Jeremiah 17, verse 11. Scamming people is faithfulness. Faithfulness. Faithfulness is lifted up men. Unfaithfulness is the undoing of many. As the partridge seated upon eggs and hatched them not, so is he that getteth riches and not by right. One, two, go. He shall leave it in the midst of his days, and at the end, you'll be a fool. Hustling here and there, everybody's trying, everybody's trying to outsmart somebody, everybody's trying to raise something that does not exist. And we are wondering why is this blessing not coming? And uh, even if it came, it was just substance, it's not the blessing. It came it will still go. I am praying that no one will lose their place. Number six, quickly, covenant titers. Already out of time? Oh, but not out of truth. Covenant titers. Are you getting the logic right? Are you seeing the keys right now? The people God will bless. Covenant titers. Malachi 3, verse 10 to 12. Bring you all the tithe. Bring it. Somebody says, Old Testament, how do you know? When was the year changed location since it was created? When last did the year change location since it was created? When was nose adjusted? The modern nose. There's nothing like that. Bring you all the tithe. It's because you don't want to do it. That's why you're looking for Old Testament. Abraham paid tithe before Moses came to write the law. Jesus came and validated tithe. Somebody say, I don't, I don't understand it. It's the Old Testament. I don't, I don't do like that. No problem. It's, for, it's not for everybody. Genesis 14, 20. And he gave him tithe of all. Abraham. Who taught him? No one. God taught him. And he blessed the most high God who had delivered the enemy to you. And he gave him tithe of all. Not some. All. I have a notebook I have kept for maybe 15 years now. Everything that entered my life is recorded. Why? So that I won't owe God any time. Every more, everything is, is written down. 10 naira, 15 naira, recharge card of 15 naira. I record it. I, want to, I don't want to owe God. Tithe of what? All. Not, I don't know. I'm going on the journey. They gave me DTA or PTA or BTE. I don't know whether I should I tie it or not. No problem. Are you, not, are you the only one that went on that journey? No. But you would have not gone. So it's a blessing. It's one of the blessings. Other people were in office that they were not put in that trip. Why did they put you? It's the blessing. Yes, I'm supposed to, to pay for this. And yes, correct. No problem. Manage it. But give God his portion. So they can keep, 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 keep putting you in your own portion. That's how we secure the blessing. And that everything you see comes in, wow. You'll not be explaining to angels why. That was that time, you know, hotel was too expensive there. That's why. You see, angel, don't worry. Eh? The next one, just try to move my file. The next trip, the next trip might be to your village to greet your in laws. <laughs> Covenant what? Many of us have been singing blessing of Abraham, Abraham, Abraham. But are you doing the work of Abraham? Don't be confused that every winner is paying tithe. It's not everybody. The people who are not paying tithe are just smiling at me and they are very happy. They are happier than those who are tight because those who are tightening the things is tight. So their face just, mm, again, right, again. Uh. But the other one, well, I know they do. I'm, hey, Father, thank you. John 8, 39. <laughs> Anybody see laughing very well in church? Be careful. <laughs> And they answered and said, <laughs> Abraham is our father. Jesus said unto him, yes, if you were Abraham's seed, you would do the work of Abraham. Abraham taught his children to pay tithe. Even if, now, nah, people think that you give tithe when things are good. No. No. Genesis chapter 20, 28, verse 20 to 22. Genesis 28, 20 to 22. And Jacob vowed a vow saying, if the Lord will be with me, look at, he's going on a journey, and keep me in this way that I go. I will give and give me bread to eat and remain to put on. Listen to this now. So that I come again to my father's house in peace. Then shall the Lord be my God. What will I do for the Lord? And this stone which I have set for a pillar shall be God's house. 
and of all that God giveth me, I will surely give the tenth unto God. Don't tell me because you travel, you wasted everything. I lie. Of all that God give me, I'll give him tight of it. Say they already calculated in the office. Yes, they calculated. You will calculate God's own first and then your own next. You'll be surprised you get there. Hotel will be free. Accommodation, everything will just be free. Aha, that's how God works. That's the blessing. That's the blessing. But it will first of all give you a test to know whether you qualified for the blessing. Shout amen. Where second service is just around the corner. Number seven, quickly. Libra soul. Who will God bless? The Libra soul. The Libra soul. Liberality is the identity of the blessed. Libra soul. Libra soul. Proverbs 11, 25, 24, 25, 26. Libra soul. The one who freely gives. It's not giving title. Title is not giving. No, title is paying rent. You are not giving your rent to your landlord. Are you giving your rent to your landlord? You are paying. You are paying. So you pay your tithe. You give to the others. There is that scattered yet increased. There is that withhold it more than is made, but is moving towards poverty. What happens? The libra soul shall be made fat. He that watereth shall be watered himself also. Verse 26 together. He that withhold it corn, one to go, the people shall curse him. One, but blessing shall be upon the head of him that said, May blessing be on your head. That amen is not correct. Luke 6 38. Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure. Press down, shaking together, running over. Brothers and sisters, generous people enjoy benevolent living. Generous people enjoy benevolent living. They live like as if God is all that they have. Their resources is in God. So we live blessed by what we give. We live blessed by what we give. Isaiah 32 verse 8. The Libra. Divide Libra things. He will find ways to give. Even when there's no avenue, he will create an avenue. By Libra things shall he stand. Proverbs 22 verse 9. Proverbs 22 verse 9. He that had a bountiful eye shall be blessed. Why? For he giveth of his bread to the poor. Proverbs 19, 17. These are generous capacity. Just keep enlarging. Don't say I'm generous or keep enlarging your cost of generosity. Last year, I paid school fee for nursery school. This year, I attempt primary school. Last year, I took a child in primary school. This year, I attend secondary school. Now, I have been taking people from nursery school. Now, I attend university. School fees of university and primary school are not the same. Keep enlarging your border of generosity. Sometimes when we talk about this, we just make up, I'm a giver, I'm a giver. No, what, to what extent? To what level? What is your level of generosity? What's your level of, what is, are you an authority in generosity? That's it. That anytime you're talking about givers, if you just mention this, you won't complain. You won't complain. There are people who give out of, out of sentiment, out of pity, pity party. Maybe we'll just help him. Maybe we'll just help him. Ah, if no be pastor, shall, where I see for road now? Ah, if no be seen a pastor, I see for filling station now. Hey, my father. Hey, what think carry this man come here now? Ah, the one that are not givers will just do as if they are not even aware they are there. They just act. They just act anonymous. They will now become pious. That's when the first thing will start. They are meditating. The one that are generous and their generosity still has some uh, locomotive mechanism. They will give you that day and they will pray. And they will stand and say, Lord, may I never see this man again in the filling station. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. He will go home, tell his wife, he's all person in the filling station and the debit, his life is not the same. So, say, let's pray that, Lord, ah, that man can use fuel, oh. 102,000. Somebody told me one time, he said, you want to be buying fuel for me? I was very happy. I said, you can't buy it. He said, no, daddy, Abba, Abba. He thought it's five, 5,000. <laughs> By the time I gave him the first bill, he sent 10,000. <laughs> he sent 7,000. <laughs> he sent 3,000. <laughs> and forever, oh Lord, <laughs> your word is settled in heaven. <laughs> Somebody met me and said, Pastor, what do you need in your life? Eh? Don't ask anybody that kind of question. What do you need in your life? Ha! In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hey, that's trouble you just asked for. 
Hey, in Jesus' name. May you not receive that kind of answer in Jesus' name. <laughs> Come on, say, Lord, help me. Brothers and sisters, it takes a lot of discipline to be on God's side. And I'm praying that God will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. So being on God's side is the stronghold of believers. Being on God's side, Psalm 91 from verse 1 to verse 16. Being on God's side is a stronghold. It's a stronghold. He that dwelleth in the sacred place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my foot. This is where we should dwell. As well now that there is catastrophe everywhere. Safety is no longer assured by where you live. So you need God. Psalm, Proverbs chapter 18 verse 10 is the, 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 on God's side is the tower of power. God's side. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous and they are safe. So you need the tower of power in this day and age. God's side. Israel got on God's side and they became a wonder. God came down inside them in the midst of them and will come down and one day, three million people left one place. One day, one go. You can't undermine or underestimate what God can do if you're on his side. Exodus 7, Exodus 3, 7 to 10. I am come down. He came down and delivered all of them one day. Genesis 12, verse 42. He said, I'll give you favor. He brought them into favor. In just being in their midst, he brought them into favor. Genesis chapter 3, verse 21. Genesis chapter 3, 21. Genesis chapter 12, 36. He brought them into favor. He, he, he turned them into a living wonder. It was raining manna. This one rain is falling here. It was bread that was raining for them. And we rain bread from heaven. Rain. And we rain food. He gave them food for 40 years. Ah! Exodus 16, 4, 8, and 35. Exodus chapter 16, verse 4. Verse 8 and verse 10. He gave them free protection. Genesis, Exodus 13, 21 and 22. Exodus 13, 21 and 22. A pillar of fire by night and a pillar of cloud by day. From today, you will become a living wonder. If you are the one, let your amen show it. Gideon became a one-man squad by being on God's side. Genesis, Judges 6, 1 to 16. Now, how to remain on God's side? Very quickly. How many of you want to remain on God's side? Good. You can see that God's side is better than the other side. Number one, beware of pride. Beware of pride. Nebuchadnezzar lost his throne because of pride. James chapter 4, verses 6 and 10. Pride will always go before destruction. Pride places a limit on destiny. Pride places a stigma, a limit on destiny. Proverbs 29, 23, a man's pride will bring him low. It will limit your destiny. It will definitely reduce your, your, your capacity. A man's pride bring him low. Proverbs 11, verse 2, when, when pride cometh, there is a follow come. A cometh with shame. There is a follow come. Proverbs 16, verse 18, pride goes before destruction. Pride goes before destruction. <laughs> Pride goes, is ahead, is the, is the, is the emissary. He sends it ahead. Advanced team of destruction is pride. The moment you now, who them be, who can talk to me, no one is like me. If you just, you just grow like this, who is talking? Is it my level? No. We don't listen to such people. He doesn't know when we started. Where well done. Pride. Things will never work when you are proud. It might work in the other side, but not in the blessing, not on God's side. Number two, the work of covetousness. Covetousness. That's the Judas Ministry International. Judas. The thing that is not your own is what is hungry in you. Covet that is the undoing of our current generation. Everybody wants to drive Benz. Everybody wants to have iPhone that, that, that they, cannot, they cannot take care of. Everybody wants to just be on top. Small, small children pressing everything, everything. Now. Everybody's working online now. Everybody's working online now. And lying, lying online now. Just, just pressing something, pressing something. Everybody's doing night vigil now. If you carry them to church, they won't do night vigil, but they stay at home and do night vigil. 
Generator is on 247. AC is on. They are working. They are working. They are monitoring something. They are checking somebody. Covetousness. Younger truth. Want to get what is not your size. Want to wear what is not your size. Want to bear where you wear. You want to live where it's not your size. You see a small boy carrying a car that even an, a director cannot carry. That has worked for 35 years. But the man is just 22. And he throws us on his waist to show that he doesn't have sense. He's still wearing pampas. And he wears earrings, plates his hair to show that uh, he's a waster. He's a squanderer. Yes. And he's holding an iPhone that is all his father gratuity. When he works in civil service, Nigerian Railway Corporation. He, the iPhone is holding is his father's gratuity and it doesn't concern him. Covetousness. Judas ministry. They can sell their master for anything for money. 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 They can sell. They can they can dupe anybody. They can traitor. They can betray anybody. Betray us everywhere. Even inside church. Among pastors. Among deacons. Among pastors wife. Among pastors children. Among choir member. Among choir director. Among it's everybody. You know, everybody's not a suspect. Everybody's a suspect. You can't keep your phone to go and take holy communion in the holy church. When you come back, it has whiz, it has just sublimed. What is it? What is it? What is it? Before now, when you keep anything in church, you will come back and find it there. Don't try it at home. Don't try. Even, let me better carry my small one and put it in my pocket. The name of Jesus Christ. Caution. Why? Because of this thing. Caution. Covetousness. You were once on God's side. Now you're on mammon's side. Remember, you can't serve God and money. You serve one. You serve one. Hey, Pastor, do you know when that tithe I brought? Who asked you to bring tithe? Who asked you? Did anybody? Now, this kind of church, has anybody ever called you to bring tithe? Has anybody? Oh, what is all this? Uh, do they know where we are getting the money we are bringing to church? Who did anybody ask you? Since they did anybody ask you for money to bring to church? What is that nonsense? What is it? What is it? What is it? Young, young children. And then our parents cannot caution. My son, what are you doing? He can't ask. He can't ask. Mommy cannot ask again. Daddy cannot ask. Your son that just left us begin to send you money. Your, your daughter in university is sending you 100,000. Which lecture is she, is she lecturing? Lecturer, how much is your salary? Your daughter in year two is sending you 100,000 upkeep at home and you cannot pay a surprise visit to the school and find out how she looks. Whether she looks like a student in Jesus' mighty name. It is all of this is Judas Ministry International. Those are the ones that subscribe to Judas. They follow Judas online. That's it. Judas. Judas. The one that can use kiss. Kiss. Intimacy to betray his master. Kiss. Kiss is a sign of your intimacy. Now Kari say, Judas, ah, ah, me like this. You betray me with a kiss. Ah, sh- That's how people you can, you can hardly think of in church looking at you saying, praise the Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah. Pastor, things are working, working, working. Where did they work? Gosh. I am praying. Our generation is almost going. It's almost going. It's almost going. House rent now. You can't pay house rent because of some certain people who have defrauded some people. So everything has gone up. Wicked device everywhere. Luke 12, 15. Beware of covetousness. Achan lost his life. He lost it. May you not lose your own. In the name of Jesus Christ. May you not lose your own. Quick everything. May you not lose your own. Listen to this. Proverbs 20 verse 21. It says, inheritance may be gotten hastily. Look at the next one. Look at it. An inheritance may be gotten hastily at the beginning. But the end thereof shall not be blessed. So relax. So relax. Relax. So calm down. Calm down. Quick money. Ritual everywhere. Everywhere. Judas is carrot everywhere. 
because they think that gain is godliness. No, no. First Timothy chapter 1, verse 5 and 6. Godliness is with contentment. Now the end of the commandment is charity out of a pure heart. And First Timothy chapter 6, verse 5 down to verse 10. First Timothy chapter perverse disputing of men of corrupt mind. If people will be, will be arguing, what is this man saying again? And destitute of the truth. One to go, supposing that gain is godliness. He said, from such, turn away. Why? Godliness with contentment is the gain. He said, for they that brought nothing to this world, they certainly will take nothing away. Continue quickly. For they that having food and raiment, let all food will be content. Verse 9 and verse 10. But they that will be rich by all means fall into temptation and snare and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown many in perdition and destruction. Verse 10. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which some have coveted after and have heard from the faith. And I pierce themselves with many sorrows. I am praying that no one will end his life in sorrows. In the name of Jesus. But number three, finally, continue to walk by continue to walk by faith. We walk by faith and not by sight. Second Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 7. Those who walk by faith don't fail in life. What but brought righteous consciousness and yielding on undying crave for sanctification and continuous exercise of godliness. A fundamental requirement for remaining on God's side. I am praying that no one here will miss their side. Dangers of being offside or on the other side blocks access to the giving grace that brings men to financial fortune. You can give. Blocks access to the giving grace that drowns men, that, that, that brings men into financial fortune. Isaiah 66, verse 1 to 3, you will lack the giving capacity. You won't give what you stole because you stole to use. 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 1 to 7. Number 2, blocks access to divine favor. God will always bless the righteous, not everybody. Not everybody. Psalm 5, verse 2. And finally, embattled life and the case of King Solomon. Solomon suffered the rest of his life by going after many other things. From wisdom, he became the most foolish. First Kings chapter 11, verses 4, verse 9, verse 24, 23 to 25. I am praying that God will help us and deliver us. What is the way forward? Repentance. It's non-negotiable. You can't do otherwise. You have to come back to God. He said, come unto me, all you who labor, and I will give you rest. Brothers and sisters, it's a new day for us. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Well, Jesus is with us this morning and it's a prophetic service. All that Jesus is about to say or has said will yet come to pass in our life. But where do we start from? Matthew chapter 10, 28, 29. He say, come unto me, all you who labor and have it, and I will give you rest. Come, Matthew 11, come and I will give you rest. Come and take, learn of me and find rest for your souls. This morning you are here, you want Jesus to become the Lord of your life. You truly want to come on God's side. So that all of the mark of blessing can come upon you. Will you join me? Rise to your feet. You want to say yes to Jesus? Rise to your feet. You want to say yes to Jesus? Rise to your feet. You want to say yes to the Father? Rise to your feet. Rise to your feet. Everyone, everywhere, rise to your feet. You want to say yes to him. You want to accept him as your Lord and Savior. You want him to become the owner of your life. You want him to rule your life. You want him to take over your affairs. Stand to your feet. It's a call that we reconnect you back to the Savior. And every good thing you desire will come back to you. You want to give your life to Jesus or you want to rededicate. You want to be very sure you're on God's side. Please rise to your feet. You want to be very sure. You want to make it right with God. You want to be very sure. Will you carry your bag and Bible quickly? Find a way marching forward to the altar from everywhere you are standing from, inside and outside. Quickly, march forward to the altar in the name of Jesus. Inside and outside, as we all rise to our feet all at the same time to give them a chance to keep coming. Keep coming. Those who are coming forward, keep coming. Everyone, rise to your feet. Those who are already coming, keep coming. And some others can still join us in coming. Lift your voice, everybody, and talk to the Lord right now. Keep coming. Keep coming. Those who are coming, you have to identify with him so that he can mark you out for the blessing. Remember, one of the mark of being on God's side is the blessing. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Church, are you excited? Are you clapping? It's not a time for, for, for mourning. It's a time of glo glory. Keep coming. 
Keep coming. Inside and outside, just face the altar when you come. Jesus is calling you. Keep coming. Jesus is here with us in the name of Jesus. Today is your very first Sunday. You are watching with us in this very church. Can I see you wave your hand to Jesus wherever you are in the name of Jesus. Carry your bag and Bible quickly also. Join us at the altar all at the same time for these prophetic blessings in the name of Jesus. Will you lift your two hands to heaven, everybody? And let's thank God right now. Others are coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Carry your bag. Carry your Bible. Keep coming. Keep coming. Those coming today for the very first time. Keep coming. Keep coming. There's a blessing for everyone in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift your voice now. Begin to thank God for the blessing that will come upon you right now. Begin to thank him. Begin to thank him. Begin to thank him. Begin to thank him. Things are turning. Things are turning. Things will start working. Working better than before. Working brighter than before. Thank you, Master. Keep coming. Those coming for the very first time, we are waiting for you. Keep coming. Keep coming. Jesus is waiting for you. Thank you, Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Job 22, 28. Job 22, 28. I'm about to release a blessing for the week upon you right now. Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto you, and delight shall shine upon your way. Lift your two hands. This week, it's your week of transforming lights. God will lift you from the ground to the top of stop. God will take you out of darkness into a marvelous light. Your life will enjoy a lift. Your life will experience a shift. Your life shall be enlarged. Light shall damage every darkness in your destiny. Whatever was not working before begins to work. Anything working works better. Someone here will receive a crown of glory. Businesses you have never done before, God will grant you grace to do them. Be victorious in every battle of life. Change level. Change grade. Your status is changing. Your story is changing. Your hand will handle multiple currencies. Your business will boom. There shall be grace and glory added to your life. You will not struggle to make ends meet. In this current economy, swim under open heavens. Every paper of your going approval is approved right now. Every man and woman here get to the topmost top of your career. God will grant you new dreams, new visions, new values, new order. Become an authority in your field. Enter your next level. Shift to the next phase. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will testify. You become a testimony of blessings. In Jesus' holy name. Wave those hands, give him praise. Get excited. Jesus is glorified and God is magnified. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. God bless you, brothers and sisters. You have come to the church and everyone that is giving their life to Jesus, I pray that the hand of the Lord will rest upon you in the name of Jesus. Say this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today just as I am. I give you my heart. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Forward ever, backward never, forever. Amen. You are blessed. The blessing is already upon your life. Speaking loud and clear. Our counselors will talk with you. Just turn around. You find them behind you. And Jesus is glorified. Hallelujah!